Guys, chaos here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to install the Iron Man mod. So all the links will be in the description as always, and I will leave a time so it'll be on screen right here to fast forward. So you just get right into the Iron Man mod, and if you already have like, if you already have the community script hook and all this stuff, then I'll leave a time for that. But yeah, let's get right into this. So when you're here on the Iron Man, which will be the first link, it'll all be in order. So this will be Dex, that. Yeah, you get the point. So you're gonna go mirror one or whatever mirror. I just want to go like this, and you're gonna scroll down, and then you're gonna go this one right under this. You're gonna go there. Ah, uh, capital I M B whatever you know. Save that. You're gonna X that out, and then you're gonna you don't need that anymore. And then you're gonna click this big green download button right here. So you're gonna click that. It's gonna bring you here. And then you have to do 2.9.5, otherwise it won't work. So you're going to come down, and it'll be this one right here. Script hook v dot net dot zip, and you're going to save. And then you're just going to X that out. And then you don't need that anymore either. And then once you're here, you're going to come down, and then you'll see this little download button. And make sure it says 9th April 2017. Or if it's later than that, it just has to be this or later now. Because this is the updated, most current version I found right now. So you're going to click that, and you're going to save, and then you're going to X that. You don't need that. And then you're going to download OpenIV, which should be 2.9, and then you're going to save that. So let me download this really quick. And then you're just going to X all this out, so you're done with all that. Uh, let me just get rid of these. These are just from my other tutorial. Uh, get rid of that. To the side. Okay, so when you're here, oh, like a, if you guys know, you just have to open up your main game directory, so it's going to be under Steam. And you're going to right click when you're in your library games right click on Grand Theft Auto go to properties and then you're going to go local files and then go browse local files and then there's your game, main game directory and if you do it enough times once you go in your file explorer there should be a shortcut like right here here's mine and then also I would just right click on your file explorer open it and get another one and I would drag all of these so where is it I would drag all these here, all your downloads that you just did, because it makes it much easier for this steps, these steps. Oh yeah, and for OpenIV, it's going to be this. Oh, IV, uh, I set up, and you're going to click that, and it's just going to ask you, like, do you want English, and where your main game directory is. So I already have that, as you can see, it's right here. So yeah, just click on that, and it'll ask you to set it up. Once you're here, you're going to open script hook V, or whatever order, and then... You're going to get this file, the ASI, and drag it there, and there you go. And then there's the first one. And then you're going to go, don't get these, you're just going to go to SDK. You're going to get these two, and then you're going to bring them in here too. Though not in any folder yet. You don't have a scripts folder yet. It's right in your main game directory as if you just opened it. And then you can X this out, and then you can open up your script hook, your regular one, and then you're gonna go wanna go into bin and don't worry about any other the files. You just wanna get these three and you wanna drag them in. And then there you go. And then once this is all done, you have all these steps. You got your script hook v.net, script hook v.dll, script hook v.asi, all this. And you can X this out now. And then you're gonna wanna open up or you're gonna wanna go into your Iron Man one now. So and then you're gonna wanna drag this dot oiv file here so mine's right here and then you're gonna x this out and then you're gonna go into your open iv after you set it up so let me just load mine and go to windows grand theft auto v do -do 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 -do. just let me load this up really fast and there you go and then once you're here you're gonna go up here to tools you're gonna go package installer and then you're going to go here. It should bring you to your desktop. You want to go desktop. And you're going to go Iron Man dot Iron Man V by Julian NIB dot o -I -V -O -I -V. Sorry, that's confusing. And you click that. And then you just want to open this. And once this opens, it's going to come up. And you want to click install right here. You want to install it to your game folder. And once this is done installing, it's just going to take a second. There you go. And now you can close this all out. So 
And I'll see you in Grand Theft Auto Story Mode. Do this on Story Mode, not online, otherwise you will get banned. Unless you feel like getting banned, but yeah, see you then. Alright guys, so now we are back in Story Mode, and... So once you're here, uh, you're gonna press Control N on your keyboard. So here, I'm just gonna get... Oh, let me just turn that off. So I'm just gonna get my face cam and just show you. So, on my keyboard, it's going to be Control plus... N. So watch, I'm just gonna press control plus N and it's gonna open that menu up there on my screen. Right there. Oh my gosh, shut up. And then once that's open up here on this menu, you're gonna s sorry about that. You can see that menu. You're gonna use eight over here, not not these numbers, but you're gonna use the ones over here, so you're gonna use two so there's two and you're gonna use eight. Can you shut up, Simon? And then you're going to press enter. So, so you, if you can see the Iron Man right there, I'm going to use enter on it. And then you can equip armor to so go down and press equip armor. And then here you go. So, let me just get my face cam back. Oh boy. Kind of messed it up here. Let me fix that. Alright, that's good enough, I think. So, yeah, this is those buttons. I think you could actually do different suits. Let me check. Uh, what's this one? Equip. Equip, no armor, just powers, metal. What's this? Oh, okay. I guess I'll just do this one. So now I'm gonna close my mod menu out. Yeah. And then... You can shoot weapons, so here it is, shoot weapons. I actually am testing this mod out, so X is the fly, and then A is the, like, go up. So yeah, I'm just playing with this, actually. Oh, you can also press this button to fire, so both of these fire. Oh, and apparently when you're flying, this is the go up, and this is the go down. But when you're on the ground, this is the fire, but when, or this is the fire, but when you're in the air, this is the fire. Warning. What's the warning? Oh! See if we can blow this car up. Alright, let's stop flying. Oh, crap. Oh, <laughs> uh, how do I change my... Oh, action replays on. Let me turn that off. Are you serious? Where, where does he go? Where'd he go? Oh, here he is. Can I pick this car up? <laughs> see ya! Have a nice time! So, yep. Yeah. And let me see if I can change the controls. Or I mean the weapons. Not really sure how to do that. Huh. Oh! Well, yeah, so you can just play with the controls, and this is pretty cool, actually. <laughs> and uh, see how fast we can fly. Uh, oh, well, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe for more game videos, tutorials, like this video if you enjoyed, share it if you have any friends who have this game want this mod? So yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.